Hey everyone, this is Red Silvers, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night Randomizer. So we need to change our equipment around here. Because we have all this stuff that we just picked up. We don't need the gold ring and silver ring anymore. So we're pretty much done everything that we can do in this first castle. So we are going to go and fight with Victor. Which, ideally, that's a new weapon. A German two-handed sword. I didn't even compare it to the one that we had before, but it looks like it's doing way more damage. So ideally, the last video I would have ended after fighting Richter, but... Just wasn't in the cards, I'm afraid. So we're gonna go straight for that right now. I mean, I guess we could go and see the librarian just to see what was going on. But maybe we'll save that for another time. Since we already know we will be coming back to this castle when we find things like the demon card or the holy symbol. Like that damage. So I'm not gonna be showing off any of the the false endings at this point, but that's not to say that they won't get used later on. We're gonna go straight to the aftermath because there's a couple of relics we can get right away once we do that. So maybe in hindsight I could have gone through Ordux's quarters to get to a warp room instead of going that way. Or even backtracked and went back to the entrance, but that's okay. Because we're here now. Somebody told me that the spots on this map are going to bother them. And you know, I may backtrack on my statement of not doing the 206. I've been waiting for you. Answer me. Why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity. If those are your true feelings, then so be it. <laughs> Alright, so we are going after this green orb. We are not actually attacking with your ship. Which... Richter, you are not making this easy. There we go. You've defeated me. 
But all is not yet lost. The resurrection of Count Dracula is at hand. <laughs> I just think at one point this was the most impressive CG you can see. I done. Thank you, Alucard, for saving Richter. Alucard? The same Alucard who fought alongside my ancestor, Trevor Belmont? That was over 300 years ago. No time for small talk. Is the person who controlled you in that castle over there? Yes, I think so. Maria, take Richter and leave here. I'll finish this. All right. Good luck. He's come to put an end to this. I think mean, we're immediately going to go right back through that. Because otherwise it's going to mess with my OCD. Because there's a spot right above it. All right. But now it's time for the inverted castle. And normally you get a bunch of stuff right at the start here, but since everything's randomized, who knows? Terminus Est. I think that stands for it is finished. All right, let's see what's down in this treasure room. Oh yeah, we don't have any map now. Twilight cloak. Covered in stone. Is this stone? Well, here's all the heart max ups. We did get a cloak. A black cape for vampires. We basically swapped the colors around from how it was before. So we kind of got beat up. Richter, so the first thing we need to do is go back to the safe. Heal. And then we'll backtrack that way and see what's up. So there's at least one person watching this that has never played Symphony of the Night and doesn't really know what's been shuffled. And despite that, they're very very vocal in the comments, and I appreciate that. And hopefully, even without knowing the game, this is still entertaining to you. So I guess that's a shout-out to Tactics Lion. Let's go see Yorick here. See what goodies are in down here. Moblung sword, 
There's a lot going on in this room right here. We also have two bosses pretty close to us right now. Trying to fill in that map a little bit. More because this is not a place that we'll want to come back and fill in later. Find our cube of Zoe that would make all these hearts nice and useful. Alright, let's go deal with this boss. So this boss drops a relic because normally he's one of the five Vlad bosses, which all of the Vlad bosses are bosses that were from bosses in the original Castle Vegas. So. This is the bat that was the boss of the first stage of the first Castlevania. So he should still have a relic. He has the gravity boots, which, that's handy. So that'll let me do this. And what's funny about that is that you can get those without the leap stone, but then you can't chain together your gravity jumps. Which is a interaction that you would never notice in the base game because you can't get those boots without the without having the leaf stone normally. All right, let's go. Not there. I want to go through the other door. We should also open the the warp here. Not that we can go anywhere through it yet, because it's the first warp, but... I'm fighting candles that I'm to again. Oh yeah, you tried to curse me and you can't.
So we're just gonna duck into the chapel or the anti chapel to go hit the boss room for this area. But please enjoy one of the best songs in this game. Toadstool's in the roof. You might need to do something about that if you have mushrooms growing in your roof. Scott. I always get mixed up in this reverse castle. You would think just moving things upside down and around would make it more difficult to navigate, but it does. So here is Medusa. I didn't mean to make him not fire his fireballs. Excuse me. Nearly as useful as I thought it would be. Also, she gets the same boss music as the Zekimus, which I think is the only other boss that uses this song. So just like the bat was the boss of Castlevania Stage 1, she's the boss of Castlevania Stage 2, and that looks like a Vlad item. Tooth of Vlad, we can go straight to Dracula now. Strength plus 10. Boy, these things hurt. Of course, I'm probably using really crummy equipment still. I'm still wearing this bike breaker, which I don't really need to have. I'm not sure if I want to go through the anti-chapel. Usually I go through the clock tower. So yeah, let's actually go the other way. Just just because that's not what I would do. So that will let the fairy familiar save you from death. I think the big reason this area is so uh, tricky to navigate for me is because the bells are gone.
Also, we're gonna get a bunch of level ups really fast in this area, just because... the level of the experience cap that these enemies give is just that much higher. I feel like... I missed something. Hello, armor. I don't know why those panthers are weird like that. Thank you. I feel like I missed something here. No, that's just the floor, isn't it? Oh, I'm out of magic. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to sit here for a sec, because... This mist forming everywhere is not working out for us. I definitely wasn't expecting to get the fifth flat item that easily. Kinda odd to think that I could go beat the game right now. An omelette! An omelette du fromage! on me there. Oh yeah, the spikes are gone. So that's good to know. Nothing in there but a jewel, but still good to know. And I will never have to worry about coming this way ever again. I guess going through the reverse chapel here, at least we can go. Belzebub is. Oh, shoot. Well, there's the game over screen. save after we fought Medusa, right? One hundred point three percent exactly half of the castle. No, we did not save after Medusa. That's okay, because we will go fight her and save this time.
was a lot easier that time around. Those Black Panthers are giving us a ton of experience. So there's all kinds of zigzag paths that are open. But I think maybe we're going to go back this way for a bit. Oh yeah, let's take the spike breaker off. change your pace just to mix things up and we'll go back. Rather than retreading where we already were. Clock tower, the reverse clock tower, I think it's called. And say hello to the worst song. It's pizza. The song isn't bad, but it plays all over the second castle. So you get sick of it really quick. Which is one of the reasons why I said I thought it would be neat if they added some kind of uh, music shuffler option here, because then you get a song that you might actually want to hear throughout most of the second half of the castle instead of this song that's okay but overstays its welcome. Tiny little Belmont bashers. Lots of goodies in the walls. Definitely gotta make sure I fill in some of that map percentage. Mr. Heaven Sword guy. I don't need your Heaven Sword. I already got your Heaven Sword. Stone. Pretty sure that's the you power up when they bleed on you. I think it's just 
like responding there. I don't think he responded in the first castle. In that room. So of course I do have to point out how crazy it is to look at the reverse castle and realize that so much of this stuff they designed where you can do it upside down. Is this doorway still open? It is not. Medusa heads are everybody's favorite Castlevania enemy. Actually, these are not kicking our butt too bad. And yes, I could use the gravity boots, but that way I can avoid the damage. Stuff like that. Excuse me. Frankfurter. I mean, I did all that for a hot dog? Better be a good hot dog. Oscar Mayer Wiener, it probably isn't. It's like, no, I really want gravity to take effect at this point, please. Thank you. over this way. Yep. They remember that I don't like them. Gladius. Ancient Rome. Which is weaker, but we'll see how it does. Thank you.
Now that I've tried to do it again, it ain't gonna work. Yay for map. I need to make it before I run out. No. Almost. Okay, I need a little more mana than that, I guess. I guess I'm just waiting for a moment to get some mana here. Do I have any mana prisms? Elixir, but no, that's H. For any items that are scattered around here. Yeah. 
And pretty soon we'll be dealing with the Nova Skeletons. Goodbye! Oh, so you can make it out of there. But the game was like, nope! Waiting for mana is not exactly the most productive way to spend time in this video. Excuse me. that hard to chain together gravity boot moves. I don't know why it's taking such a hard time. I don't actually know what the name of this area is. Yay, we have mana! Isn't it great? have these big skeleton heads that we can't actually kill. I think if we had that weapon that did soul steal, we could attack them and it would still heal us. But we can't do anything about them. Oh, so let's open that door. Because more teleportation options is handy to have. Can't take the elevator anymore. This is definitely an easier area than uh, the chapel was. There is the library. Of course, we can go after another relic first from a boss that's right here. Okay, fine. I was like, look, he missed me. So I can go that way, but we're gonna go around. That way we can hit the same room again. Mana Prism! Of course, you would give it to me now. Holy sword, I think we already had one of those. Maybe not, but strong versus undead, so this is a very good place to have a holy sword, because we're gonna come up across these Nova skeletons here. And they hurt! Did you just kill that Nova skeleton with one attack? So kind of like the way that those panthers were, these guys give a lot of experience. So that's why I'm making sure to kill them. A 
Buffalo Star. Does that mean it's the star that was made in Buffalo, New York? Or is it a star made out of buffaloes? Alright, now we'll have a million Nova Skeletons again. Hooray! Nope. Well, there's your uh, taste of how dangerous they are. You get hit by a couple of them and it is not a good feeling. Go see the librarian. Alright. So we will go this way. We'll say knock knock, I guess. Cause... And I basically wanted to go around this way so that I could go to the save point first. And then we'll deal with one more boss before we end this video. Because this is another relic boss. Straight from stage four of the original Castlevania, here's... Frankenstein's monster, the creature. He's this time he doesn't have Igor with him. He wasn't too bad either. Is that our wolf form? It is. Way late to the party, but hello, Wolfworm. <laughs> I'm played of Euros. Alrighty, so we're still missing a couple of things, but. Uh... The demon card, the merman statue, the holy sim and holy symbol. Still a couple of things. But there's two bosses that I know that have relics, so. So we got a couple of options ahead of us now. We can go check out the library, which normally people would go there to farm like the most broken weapon in the game, but we don't actually know if that's going to be something to happen to us. We could backtrack and go try going through the anti-chapel again, now that we've got a few levels under us. We can go through the, mar the black marble gallery. But... That'll be for next time. So, as always, until next time, this has been Red Silvers. Have yourself a good night.